Oh, <laughs> my Julia Child impression. <laughs> Hello Bosworth and welcome to my teensy tiny little kitchen here in New York City. But I am a professional chef so I can make it work. Uh, today we are going to make caramelized banana nut smoothie bowls which are perfect for breakfast and they're also perfect for your Instagram if you want to post a very glamorous picture of what you're eating for breakfast. For this recipe, there are a couple ingredients. So you're going to need about half a cup of almond milk or a milk of your choice. I like to put in one full banana so that the consistency of the smoothie bowl is nice and thick. Uh, one or two tablespoons of chia seeds. I have some hemp seeds here for topping, so as much or as little as you want. Half a cup of raspberries, quarter cup of strawberries, quarter cup of blueberries, tablespoon of agave, small handful of ice. Get it all into the smoothie and then we can also work on those caramelized banana and nut toppings as well. So before I do the smoothie, I'm going to make all of my toppings first and I highly recommend that you guys do it in this order of operation also. So let's go over here in my tiny kitchen. All I have to do is turn around and step over to my stove and here we have these toppings. Uh, so I'm also going to caramelize some banana. So I'll take another banana and then I also have some pecans, some shredded coconut flakes coconut oil. We have a couple spices just to make this smoothie bowl feel super current. We have turmeric and cayenne to put on top of our pecans. They're going to be so delicious. So let's get going. So first things first, we are going to brown our coconut flakes. So I am just adding them to a dry pan, no oil or anything like that. And this is only gonna take a minute or two, so it's pretty important that you don't walk away from the pan at this moment, because they could burn pretty easily. So you can start to see some of the tiny pieces in the pan get brown. That's a good sign. And I like to turn my heat down just a tiny bit at that point. Also, if your stove starts to get a little too hot, a trick when you're browning is just to lift it off and just give yourself a break for a second. You are in control of the stove. The stove is not in control of you. Okay, so these are done. They're looking gorgeous, tan, browned. They're beautiful. So just back into the bowl they go and we will set them aside until we need them later. Our next topping is our caramelized bananas, the superstar of our smoothie bowl. So you're gonna want to add a little bit of coconut oil, maybe a teaspoon, a little bit more to your pan. You could also use ghee if you wanted or a little butter. Once this melts down just for a minute, I am going to add our banana slices. Make sure the heat isn't too high here. And we really, want to kind of brown these in the pan. Add a tiny little bit of agave just for some sweetness here. So you're gonna let this cook just for a minute or so. These are looking gorgeous. And I think they're just about done. So I'm gonna let the banana slices rest on a piece of parchment paper so that they don't stick to a plate or anything like that. And you're gonna wanna do the same for your caramelized nuts. Whatever is easiest for you. I'm a laid back chef. I kind of like to think that um, Julia Child was a laid back chef and she's my all time cooking inspiration. Oh, <laughs> my Julia Child impression. <laughs> That is something that I need to work on. <laughs> so I think it is high time that we move on to the nuts and we're doing everything in the same pan. So if you have any burnt bits from the banana, definitely scrape those out of the pan. So we are going back to add coconut oil to our pan and these nuts are gonna be so delicious. In they go. We'll just add a touch of agave. And then turmeric is happening here. Time to add cayenne pepper for a little kick. So our pecans are done. These smell so good. 
and they look so beautiful. Our toppings are done, so all I'm gonna do is spin around because my kitchen's so tiny. Uh, and it is time, finally, to make our smoothie. So I'm gonna add just a small handful of ice to this, a little bit of almond milk. You're probably gonna wanna put in a full banana. Time to put the berries in. I'm going to use almost all of these raspberries. I'll save some for the toppings. A couple strawberries. Next, just a touch of agave for a little hint of sweetness. Now, time to add some chia seeds. They're a superfood and they're also gonna expand in your smoothie to give it that consistency that you're looking for. I think I'm actually gonna save the blueberries for toppings today. Now, it's time to blend. Our smoothie is ready and into this beautiful bowl it goes. The time has come to decorate our smoothie bowl. My favorite part of this, and probably your favorite part too. So I have all of my toppings here ready to go. So I think for this one, I'm gonna do a circular design and I'm gonna start with my pecans because I have quite a few of them. I'm gonna actually add some blueberries just around the outside, kind of to make another layer because I think it would look pretty. And that's the fun thing about this, is you get to be as creative as you want. You can make any design, any decoration, and guaranteed it's gonna be really delicious. Time to dig in, and I am going for a bite with the pecans and the banana in it to get that caramelized banana and nut flavor. Mmm. So good. The pecan is a little bit spicy and sweet, and that caramelized banana is so delicious. It is perfect on breakfast, it is perfect on dessert, on absolutely anything. A caramelized banana is just, it's heaven in your mouth. So, I'm gonna keep eating this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.